Welcome back to the show, everybody. Take a look at this while we run the headlines here. We got Ripple getting support in the SEC case. Ethereum merge, it went down, but we got something for you to take a look at. Unidentified third party files a motion in the SEC versus Ripple summary judgment. The Fed wants to pave a way for crypto. What's going on here? Because the U.S. Treasury is going to recommend a digital dollar. Oh, it's all rolling downhill now. We got that and so much more. Somebody roll that beautiful intro. Digital Perspectives with Brad Kimes. Come on in. Welcome back to the show, everybody. You can follow us on TikTok, YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook for exclusive content. It's one trillion thirty billion. Good morning, and shout out to Coin Pet Rica for the numbers this morning. Give them a shot for yourself. I love them. Twenty thousand plus for a Bitcoin. Ethereum almost sixteen hundred dollars after the merge. We've got some information on that for you this morning. XRP is thirty three cents, three for a dollar. Let's get started. This is enormous news. Poly sign is coming soon to link to. Holy moly, are you seeing this? I got this in a letter in my email box yesterday afternoon and oh my goodness gracious, let me tell you something. It doesn't say when, but it says coming soon. Be prepared because you know damn well this is not going to last three seconds once it hits the platform. So I will tell you as soon as it comes live, but be prepared, ladies and gentlemen. If you're not accredited, get accredited. Link2.com, link underneath the video. Eggrag Crypto says, if you see XRP down in that purple area, it's a buy sign. That's not financial advice from him, me, or anyone else, and it never is. It's my digital perspective, and this happened to be his. And I tell you, you know, this is pretty interesting chart when I look at it, and it is three for a dollar. I think I may make that decision to do that myself today. So I will be saving some dry powder for PolySide. I tell you that much, though. Better late than never, Ripple lawsuit gets backing from leading blockchain trade association. We reported on this yesterday. Shout out to Perry Ann Boring and the Digital Chamber of Commerce. They did finally file the brief. And just to go quickly uh, through this, because we covered it yesterday, uh, they submitted a meekest brief in the matter of the SEC versus Ripple, laying out the applicable legal precedent for initial offerings of digital assets here. And it was Lily Tesler who really wrote that up for the Digital Chamber of Commerce. This is an update too when it comes to the XLS 20 NFT token for the XRP ledger. Nick Bogulis, major developer there for the ledger, says, and today the proposed 1.9.4 release, which incorporates the fix described below, is up for review. And as promised, the proposed simple fix was coded, completed, unit test, and is now undergoing review. All I can say is test, test, test. It's a process, ladies and gentlemen, but you know what? Once it comes live, you know it's not going to have a bunch of issues because they do the work on the front end. Oh, I tell you. I said this the other day, but God bless Nick, Matt Hamilton, and all the other developers that build off of the XRP ledger. You know, I don't have any knowledge in that area, and you guys know this. I've never tried to portray that I have, because if it was up to me to have to build out that XRP ledger, it'd be tomato can on a string. You know what I mean? It wouldn't be good, ladies and gentlemen. So very grateful for all their hard work. Ethereum has migrated to proof of stake network. But careful now, ladies and gentlemen, I got something for you to see. This is Vitalik Buterin saluting everybody, saying happy merge all. This is a big moment for the Ethereum ecosystem. Everyone who helped make the urge happen should feel very proud today. And then we even had... In true class fashion here, Brad Garlinghouse is truly an incredible technological feat. Congrats, Ethereum community, on the merge. And it is congrats. However, let's not break out the anointing oils just yet, ladies and gentlemen. So essentially, what we're looking at here, according to Santiment, according to our Ethereum post-merge inflation dashboard, 46.15% of the proof-of-stake nodes for storing data, processing transactions, and adding new blockchain blocks can be attributed to just two addresses. 
this heavy dominance by these addresses is something to watch. We go into it and look right here. Look at this. Uh, you know, <laughs> so essentially, this is solid evidence that Ethereum is not decentralized. Great. Maybe Warren Davidson or Elizabeth Warren, because we've got the Senate committee hearing coming up today, and we know we've got the uh, House is going to weigh in on this too before it's all over. Maybe one of these congressmen or senators might ask the question of Gary Gensler because Ethereum is not being sued that we know of. So he should be able to speak freely on it unless he cowers, as he's done before, to why this is the case and why Ethereum got a free pass. Coming back to the actual case now for the Ripple and the SEC case, Shout out to Jim Filing here. He says, an unidentified third party has filed a motion to seal portions of the Ripple Defendant's motion summary judgment that references the names of the third party's employees. Just very quickly with this. Pursuant to the court's September 12, 2022 order of your honor's individual practices in civil cases, we write on behalf of third party A1 to propose a limited number of targeted redactions to defendants' memorandum of law in support of their motion for summary judgment. On July 28, 2022, third party A filed a letter motion seeking redactions to exhibits filed in connection with the parties. Daubert motions, summary judgment motion, like the Daubert motion, reference the names of certain third party A employees accordingly for the reasons articulated in our July 28th letter, we requested redaction of the references to third party A employees in connection with the summary judgment as well, I take it, right? So this is the same third party we saw back in July asking for the anonymity to remain. You know, what's interesting about this is that, you know, we are now four days away from finding out more information, hopefully, than we ever have before when it comes to this case and summary judgment, redacted versions or not. There should be plenty of information in there that we've never seen before. This from Wrath of Conman is a reminder because we covered this yesterday, but I'm showing this to really bring all eyeballs onto this. Examining Swift corporate blockchain trial news, Swift is using Symbiont's blockchain assembly to create a golden record of corporate actions for asset transactions. It says, I doubt RIP or XRP is involved. This paperwork is on blockchain using smart contracts. And we asked that question too when we covered this because we know that Matthew Lini showed us back in 2015 that Ripple, in fact, has a gateway connection to Symbiont, which is obviously working with Swift. But back in 2015, it appeared to be for the use of, of Bitcoin as a gateway there. So we're not sure if that relationship has expanded since 2015 and whether these two things are mutually exclusive of one another or whether or not the Swift Symbiont and, Sim and Symbiont Ripple relationship will go hand in hand with the Swift relationship. So head on a swivel there. And if anyone finds out any more information on that, let's work together to get it out to all the people in this, in this space. Let's move to this now. The Fed wants to pave the way for crypto. Wow, did you ever think you'd hear it? Did you ever think you'd hear it? The Fed has done a sudden reversal of the mind and calling for Wall Street to put systems in place that will allow banks and other standard financial institutions to better deal with growing crypto space. We go into this. This is Leo Brainerd now talking from the Fed here. And she says the emerging crypto asset sector presents potential opportunities to banking organizations, their customers, and overall financial system. Crypto-related activities may also pose risk related to safety and soundness, consumer protection, and financial stability. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the verbiage of FSOC, the Financial Stability Oversight Council, and systemically important designations and the reason for them. I've been talking about that for over two years. We go on further, and Leo Brainerd, the uh, Fed Vice Chair, also explained here, new guidelines provide a consistent 
transparent process to evaluate requests for Federal Reserve accounts and access to payment services in order to support a safe, inclusive, and innovative payment system. You know, when we hear the verbiage and I hear crypto and then I hear them talk about safety, soundness, financial stability, consumer protection, and then they talk about innovative payment systems. Well, we know Mike Blandia, wholesale head of payments at JP Morgan, clearly said it's not Ethereum or Bitcoin because they're commodities. Wouldn't want to use those for payments. You know, we start to really lean into asking that question more heavily now. Is XRP on its way to possibly becoming a stablecoin designation? How else would it work in the form of payments? What designate, is it something else? I think we're really asking the right questions here. I really do. And we do not have the answers as of yet. U.S. Treasury now to recommend the creation of a digital dollar, if in national interest. Take a look at this now. I mean, you talk about things changing quickly here. Shout out to ProCoin News. Give them a follow. Within the government, it will be the U.S. Treasury's Department's role to advise the federal government on creation of a digital dollar. However, the point is made clear that this will only happen if it's confirmed that this is done in national interest, according to insider sources. We love insider sources. It is likely that this would need to be both the support of the president as well as Congress for this actually be implemented. However, so far, the Biden administration already called for further examination of crypto and digital assets where some of the actions seem pro-crypto, whether or not they all influ influence legislators to actually pass the law uh, that will allow the Fed to create CBDT is still yet to be determined. But from Coindesk, we saw U.S. Treasury is set to advise the federal government to move ahead with the developing of a digital dollar, even as questions about whether it's in the national interest or in the Fed has authority are still being answered. Uh, I think we all are seeing that the headwinds are turning in exact direction that we all have thought that it would. That's what I believe we're witnessing here. And later today, in lieu of all this information, we have the United States Senate Committee for Banking, Housing and Urban Affairs happening. James Rule XRP says here, don't miss the roasting of Gary Gensler live today at 10 a.m. I will be covering it and it will be in my second video today. I can't wait to see what transpires. That's going to do it for me. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Head on a swivel. This is crypto you never know. I want to tell you that we have some great specials and deals. Not only watch out for PolySign coming soon, but take a look at this. In light of the ETH merge, Ledger is running a incredible special right now. If you click the link underneath this video, 20% discount on an exclusive new bundle for the Ledger Nano X and Bill Foddle. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. All you have to do is when prompted is provide an ETH address for them and it is on. How about that? Shout out to Ledger for that celebrating the ETH merge. That's where we are today, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you check out all the links underneath the video for great specials and deals, products and services I use each and every day, and trusted vetted links that you can click on without any concern, for sure, no doubt. I will catch all of you on the next one.